Hey guys, Kenfin here, and welcome back for more Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls! You're probably wondering where I've been. Well, the power went out because of a bit of an issue of paying the bill, but we got back on. We're good. We're good. No problems here. Anyway, we're heading on into Whisperwind Cove, where the whispering wind is whispering to your face. I think. Great! Well, actually this brings up a topic that I wanted to talk about anyway. You may or may not know that I'm a fan of Minecraft. Well, this place really reminds me of the Aether. It's a lot like the overworld, except different. It's, it's really nothing to worry about. There will be enemies that are actually threatening here, but obviously these aren't some of them. That having been said, I'm going to basically just be doing this without cutting, even though this place is... And by without cutting, I mean, uh, you know, not the map, but... Anyway, these Aetherish maps... Because, you know, I like the Aether mod in Minecraft lately, is why I wanted to mention it. There's multiple versions of this Aether world map, but whatever. Actually, during my practice run, I didn't see this until, like, after the third boss, so... It's interesting that I ended up here on the first one. First floor. Yep, there's some crazy stuff going on around here. Regardless, I have news. If I hit 20 subscribers, I am going to sing a parody of Free Fly for a White Guy that I wrote about Let's Players. I call this parody Pretty Fly for an LP Guy. Being the narcissist that I am, it does have my name in the lyrics, but regardless. Okay, maybe there is only one form of the or er, form of the Aether. Whatever. Where are we now? I honestly don't have any maps for this. Mainly because this is a 44 dungeon and no cartographer is stupid enough to make maps. Or bold enough. BOLDLY DOING WHAT NO ONE WANTS TO DO BEFORE HIM! Light curtain. Oh boy. Actually those light curtains might be useful later. You know those protect rings I was bolstering about before? The ones that protect you from instant death? Well, it turns out that they only protect you from instant death coming from a death elemental attack. I want that treasure, just because I saw it. I really don't care about grabbing all the treasure. I don't have any map to let me know where all the treasure is. But I take what I get and I get what I take. You see what I'm saying? Cockatrice Claw. If you had one of these, Tiamat would have been a lot easier to beat, just so you know. What about that death elemental thing? A good portion of instant death methods are death elemental, but some of them aren't, so just keep that in mind. And it would seem that we are back in the ice cave and there's the stairs. You'll find that a number of these floors are actually reminiscent to other floors. <coughs> and with that having been said, as we, or as you may have noticed, since all of these four dungeons have bosses from other Final Fantasy games, the first one had Final Fantasy 3, the second one had Final Fantasy f oh crap, the dwarf place. And the second one had Final Fantasy 4, and we skipped over the third one. This one will have Final Fantasy 6. Anyway, if you talk to this dwarf, he tells you that all these dwarves had their problems, and this is basically just a stupid fetch quest, and I hate fetch quests. They annoy me. They annoy me a lot. Nope, wrong way. I know you have to start off by getting, uh, uh, what's it called? A, uh, carb or, or carbs or whatever. Carbo. Food for a hungry dwarf. And then you bring it to the guy who's hungry, and then he gives you something that you bring to someone else, and he bring gives you something that you bring to someone else, and that'll open another clue, and that'll open another clue, and then he'll finally go to the end, <clears throat> where you'll get Star Ruby, get past that Titan guy, and we'll be done. See, this is the guy that gives you the Carbo. Now we go to the Hungry Dwarf. I more or less remember where these dwarfs are, but I don't remember them exactly. Mm, that's not the right guy. That's the guy who needs tools to make an airship. And this is a treasure chest. Ah! Give it over, and he will give you an ocarina. This goes to a dwarf that is interested in weird music or er, musical instruments. I believe he's here. Nope. That's the guy who needs medicine. Okay, so maybe these dwarf's locations are randomized. Great. And that's the dwarf who's trying to find his missing keys. And this is the guy who wants an autograph. 
Um, 49, I'm just gonna end up showing off every dwarf's location and not be able to show off all the trading. Like curtain. Because I'm already halfway through my 10 minutes. And the Lagrath lossless codec makes gigantic file sizes. And if it goes over 2 gigs, then it's just gonna crash. Seriously? Okay. It's gotta be this guy. Aha! And he gives you a cogwheel, which goes to the guy who wants to make an airship, I think. No, that's... He's... No, yeah, the one who wants to make the airship is the one who needs him. That's not the guy. He needs tools, apparently. Ugh! I hate these dwarfs! Damn it! Hold on, you know what, I'm just gonna cut and find the dwarfs, because this is taking too long. Found him. And give him the cogwheel. And now he's going to give you a pickaxe. Which goes to this dwarf, who is Simon, and is going to dig a hole. And he gives us the autograph. Which goes to this dwarf, who wants to trade it for... This medicine that Matoya gave him, and I know exactly where the guy whose stomach hurts is, and it's so nearby. So it goes to this guy, and he gives us Smith's tools, which goes to the guy who broke his tools, which I'm pretty sure is over here. Yep. And this guy will give us the uh, house key, which goes to the guy who lost it, and it's not that silent guy, I was wrong. The guy who lost his key is not here, it's the guy up here. I think. Damn it! He was over here. Anyway, and he gives him, or gives us the cat's whisker, which is a sign of friendship among the dwarfs, and this goes to the silent guy. And, uh, he gives you the star ruby! Which is Good, because we need that to get that out of here. So give this guy the star ruby and he'll eat it, and then he just walks away. Like, Alright, let's see, 150 seconds left. How, what's the next floor looking like? Um, I don't remember. Whatever, I'll just cover what I can. I'm probably going to stop this on the next floor if this takes too long. Uh, pff, stupid. This. Damn it! Uh, why did I agree to do this? Why? It just takes forever, and you know nothing of where you're going. All because there aren't any cartographers that want to take five hours trying to build this map and name it after a feature that's distinct enough that you'd be able to figure it out just by taking a look. Not that I blame video game cartographers, this place is gigantic! Are you kidding me? I think I just saw the stairs and... Oh, no, no I didn't. Yes, I did. Are you kidding me? There w ah! Right the mother flipping next to where I started, too. <sighs> well, with that, I don't think I have enough time to do this floor, so... I'm just gonna call this one a wrap. And until next time, I've been Ginfin. And this place is already starting to bug me. See you guys then.